Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten. If you haven't done so yet, please click on my uh, subscribe button so that you can subscribe and get all my current updates and videos and and everything else. Um, so I'm so happy to be with you guys today. I know it's probably been a week or maybe a couple of weeks since I shot a video, but I'm here today. Um, I'm, about, I'm about to go into the gym, but I wanted to shoot a quick video for you guys. And I um, just wanted to say the gym, the gym has been a lifestyle for me. It's not something that I just recently took hold of. It's like something I've done over the years. And I don't work out necessarily to get stick skinny, but I work out to be strong and healthy and to have a healthy, strong heart, strong uh, bones and, and you know muscles and all those things. And then I also wanna look good in my clothes. And so that's why it's a lifestyle for me. And it, and, it, and it also gives you like good endorphins in your body when you work out. So if you're not feeling your best, go work out. It's, it's gonna make you feel better. It gives you a, a more positive outlook on life. So that's one reason why, if, if I'm always shooting a video and I'm in my workout clothes, excuse my little ratty hat, but this is my workout hat. It keeps my hair from flying all over my head. I don't wanna look <laughs> like I'm crazy. Um, but, um, and then I don't wanna wear the best things because when I say I put in work, I put in work. So I'm not trying to have on nothing glamorous that's gonna get messed up. So please excuse this little old ratty hat it's my old adidas hat uh, but i'm good um today i want to stop by just for a little bit just to let you guys know that if you live in houston texas i want to know when you just chime in if you live in houston i know that i have people that follow me that are kind of like all over the world but for the ones that are living in uh, houston texas let me know you know have you guys become concerned with all the recent violence that's out there and if so you know what do you think is contributing to the violence i want you to chime in uh normally i post this on my uh facebook page first and then i shoot it over to my youtube channel but either either platform just feel free to comment and and, and let me know what you guys think because i'm getting quite disturbed about what's going on and i'll just put my little two cents in or my opinion i think ever since our governor here in, in, in texas decided that he was going to pass a law that you know, Texans didn't need a carry license to uh, carry um, a handgun. People went crazy. I mean, it was almost, I saw it like almost immediate. And a lot of people don't agree with me, but I saw it. I saw it almost immediately happen. There were drive-bys and shootings and there are innocent people getting murdered and killed for no apparent reason. It's just happening. And, and there's a lot of young fools out there. There's probably some old ones out there too that are just carrying these guns. And, and some of them are, it's just crazy. So I want to know how you guys feel about that. What are you going to do to protect yourself and your family? You know, and the only reason why I don't, well, that's not the only reason, but I believe that maybe we should uphold the carry, the con, you know, the concealed carry uh, license because the people that are gonna get those licenses are more than likely gonna be a little bit more responsible. And I know a lot of people say, well, you know, the people that are criminalistic, they're gonna get guns off the street. And I'm like, yeah, but they feel more comfortable now. They feel like they, <laughs> and not that long ago, I went to a Frenchie's restaurant and it was this little cat, he was a young guy. He was carrying a gun in his pocket and it was sticking out. And I'm like, you know, what's going on here? And so they're getting more comfortable. They, they feel like there's no law, you know, I don't know if the law has officially went through yet or it's, it's about to pass, but apparently that's given them Carl Blanche to just be fools with it. And uh, personally, I carry, and let me tell you why. It, I don't. I'm not a gun person. I really don't like guns, but I um, I go out to the shooting range, learn how to shoot. Um, my handgun and my um, other big gun that I have. I don't even know the name of it because I want to be responsible. And if I have to be in a position to protect um, my my family, I'm going to protect my family. 
Um, but I'm going to be responsible too, which means I make sure it's put up, it's locked up, it's away from my children, but I know where it is at all times so I can easily get to it. And so, but the only reason why I decided to carry was because there, there was one time me and my two daughters were in danger. I think it was a more than one time, but that time in particular, cause now you're messing with my babies and we got some problems. But there was one time we were, I was taking my daughters to the dentist, but we stopped at a store first. So we stopped at this store and I, I remember um, there was, i never forget that car, it was like a gold four door car and it was two guys in the car. And they were outside the store that we were in. That wasn't so much the problem. The problem was when they proceeded to follow us from that store to my children's dentist office. When I realized they were behind me, I didn't want to get out the car, so I proceeded to take off, you know, back out and leave. Well, guess what? They back out and they left behind me. There's real danger out there, you guys. I know y'all living in a bubble or fantasy world, but it doesn't take but five minutes for somebody to bust that bubble. You guys need to open up and be aware of your surroundings. But because I pay attention and my head is on a swivel and my head is not in my cell phone as I'm walking, I notice those guys were following us even from that store and so they proceeded to take off i sped up they sped up and it was a pursuit they were chasing us and i had to maneuver my vehicle to get away from them and i witnessed i wasn't going home because i didn't want them to follow us home but i kind of maneuvered in another uh, neighborhood and area until i lost them but it was because I was aware of my surroundings and I, I, I knew that we were in danger. I didn't have a gun at that time. So guess if these guys would have caught up with us and they had guns, anything could have happened to me and my girls. They could have been trying to take my girls. There's a lot of sex trafficking in Houston. So they could have been aiming that particular thing at them, trying to take them. I don't know what they were trying to do. I just thank God he protected us that day. But after that day, I said, I'm getting a gun. That way I can at least attempt to try to protect me and my children. So that's why I'm not against guns. I believe that everybody, every citizen has a right to protect themselves. So I'm not against it at all. Um, but I, I'm against, you know, stupid fools out there. They got something to prove or they're mentally unstable. They shouldn't have guns. They shouldn't, but that's the only reason that I just wanted to explain why I became a, a person with firearms. And so I do mean firearms. You come to my address with some mess, oh, we protected over there, I'm telling you. That's for sure. So this video is just to bring about awareness I can't even say that it's an encouraging video because it's raw and it's real. There's a lot of danger out there and you have to be aware of your surroundings. And I am scared to all that. I, I mean, I am scared for our youth because whenever I go into an establishment, I see our youth with their head down. And I don't have long because I got to get into this class, but their head is down in their phones. They are not aware of their surroundings. And it may be why many of them are getting snatched every day. We have to be aware of our, I'm talking to the youth. Y'all gotta be aware of your surroundings. That darn social media page, that Instagram, that TikTok is not that important. It's not more important than your life or your safety. Put it down while you're in a social environment or while you're in a crowded area and pay attention to your surroundings. Pick it back up when you're somewhere safe and you feel that you can, you're safe enough to scroll. But don't, I see people walking around, even even older people, walking or walking with their cell phone and not aware of their surroundings. Their head is in their phone. They don't know who's behind them or on the side of them. We have to be more aware. So this, this video is about more about awareness to bring about protection for ourselves and our family members. We have to be aware of our surroundings. Unfortunately, now it's getting so bad. I cut on the news. I really don't watch a lot of news, but I don't have to watch news. If I scroll on my channel for a brief moment, one of my social media platforms, I'm gonna see news outlets posting 
all the violence that's happening. And so I click on it to see if it's real. And this, this is really happening. There are murders. There are innocent people being murdered every single day by some fool with a handgun. They are following people home from restaurants or from bars, robbing them and murdering them. It's happening. If you don't believe me, do your research every single day. I have a family member, really close family member. I'm not gonna say really close, but I have a family member that I know that just lost her husband, hardworking, beautiful family guy. He helped other people. He was a good guy. He got killed in a drive by a drive by. They're a good, hardworking, honest, God-fearing people being murdered every single day. What are we going to do about it? And I know a lot of people, a lot of religious people are, are probably not going to agree with me saying that I believe we should, responsible people should carry arms because we have every right to, to protect ourselves. But I'm telling you, it didn't, it didn't stop. It's not stopping because you love God or you serve him. Like I know everything has a time and we all have a time that we have to go, but some people are rushed out of here. Some good people. And so what are we gonna do about it? First of all, I say, I, I really, I put God first in everything that I do. And I, I, I suggest other people do that too. Always put God first in everything you do. So I get up in the morning and I have my devotion time and I pray and I pray. <laughs> Uh, prayer protection over me uh, and my loved ones every day and my friends every single day and then I have friends that I'm connected to that do the same thing so we're praying for each other we're praying protection over our children and our family members and each other and we have a whole network that's doing this so to keep us protected but even though we're protected we still need to be aware of our surroundings too because we have to understand we're not just in the flesh. There's a spiritual side of each and every being and there's a whole nother dark side. That's why there are people that, you know, you always hear these stories about this mass murderer and, and people that live next door to him never was like, he was never like that. He was a good, genuine guy. And then all of a sudden he went off why do you think that's possible? It's possible because there's a, a whole nother spiritual realm out there, a realm of evil and darkness, and it's taking over people every single day. You could be that one gleam of light, and it's because that enemy hates you because you love God, you are in danger. You have to protect yourselves in every way imaginable. And so, like I say, this is a warning. Put the cell phones down when you're out and about, especially when you're in an area, even if you are in an area you're familiar with. The enemy lurks all around. And sometimes it'll use the people that you love and trust the most. That's the sad, that's the sad, honest truth. And so we always have to be aware. Start off by having that personal connection and relationship with God, trusting him, not living in fear. Because I'm not a fearful person. I, I decide to carry a firearm to protect me and mine. But I'm still not a fearful person. Even if I didn't have a, fi a firearm, I would fight to my death to protect what's mine. So there's no fear in me. But I am aware of the dangers that's out there. And so I'm asking, I'm encouraging other people out there that feel like their lives, they live in a bubble and they're not, they're not uh, touched. You know, they're not touchable. Everybody's touchable everybody it could happen at a, a moment somebody could follow you home rob you and kill you and your whole family you know there was something somebody on the news and i don't want to bring a lot of negative but it's out there and you need to be aware that it's out there some man broke into a family's home killed the whole family and thought he killed one of the, the children that the children one of the um the little girl played dead but she she made it she's alive but her whole family's dead and I believe this cat, this young guy was out on bond for something and he already committed a crime. And I'm hearing a lot of these uh, uh, people that are uh, criminals, they're getting out on bond for less than nothing. And then they're committing more crimes. And I don't understand what's going on with our 
our county officials and our government. I don't understand why they're letting these these people out that are criminals out free to commit more crimes and to kill more people and to rape more people and to take more people. But that's what's out there and we all need to be aware of it. It doesn't mean if you haven't been affected by it, that you can't be affected by it. Stop trying to live in a bubble. I see so much of that stuff on social media. You see this glamorous life and everybody's happy and they're whole and nobody's affected with the people that are suffering around them. You guys are so freaking narcissistic, selfish ass people. And you know what? One day that shit might, excuse me, but one day that stuff might knock on your door. What are you going to do about it? Get involved in your community now, especially if you have the resources to do so i think you should be more involved in our community but really be involved don't be involved for po political reasons because you're trying to get some type of seat in an office somewhere so you got to show yourself approved by just your smile and you taking pictures that you're feeding the homeless and you're and, and you're going to the shelters that's all front material what are you doing in the real what are you doing in real life what are you doing in the background how do you talk about those homeless people when you're not around everybody else? How do you feel about them? How do you view them? Because if it's not real, it's all for nothing, babe. I'm sorry. It's all for nothing. We got to get involved with our communities. We got to protect each other. We got to care about each other. Stop trying to live our lives like we're in a bubble because we're not. And one day somebody might come and bust your bubble. You ain't going to know what to do because you never hurt. You never helped not one soul in your life. You never helped nobody. All you ever did was care about yourself. That's it. So this is a, 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 um, a video that's trying to promote awareness for safety. We have to make sure we're protecting ourselves and that we're safe. And we do that first by getting on our knees and fighting spiritually because we are really in a spiritual warfare. There is light and there is darkness. It, 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 and they exist together. And the darkness is penetrating more of the light than there should be because we're falling off. The people that are supposed to be fighting against the darkness to overcome the darkness are falling off. So the darkness is overcoming the light now. And, and it starts by uh, being politically correct by following the fad and the trend of what's acceptable even if God ain't nowhere in the equation but you stand for God but you're gonna you're gonna take away one of his commandments because it ain't really politically correct and then you're gonna take another one away and then you're gonna take another one away and then you're gonna take another one and before you know it you're just like the dark the dark has overcome you and you're worthless I'm telling you now there are people with that's making a mass exodus away from the church because we are lukewarm and we are worthless. We don't care about nothing but monetary gain. And I'm not saying it's all of us, but it's a big majority. We have to care about each other. We have to start getting involved in our community. We have to start holding our community leaders to what they're saying they're going to do for us, that they don't do anything for us. But we elect them every single time. What have they done for us? I don't need to see your picture of you feeding a homeless person. I don't, I don't need that. I need to see real proof and facts that you are making a difference in our communities by holding these criminals accountable, by not letting them out so that they can kill, maim, and murder, and rape, and, and, and hurt our children, and hurt other innocent people. We got to start holding these people to the mat, y'all. We got to because our safety is at risk and nobody gives a freak. Nobody cares. We have to start caring ourselves. And that may mean we may have to start policing our own communities because they don't care, y'all. Why you think when somebody get robbed, it takes them an hour to get there? By then, everybody in the store could be deceased. Why is that? We have to start protecting our own. And so this is a awareness warning. Everybody be aware of your surroundings. People, please stop moving to Houston. Please, thank you. <laughs> the housing market is crap right now. 
unless you're an investor. And right now I can't stand investors because y'all greedy. I'm just going to put it out there. Y'all greedy. Y'all buying all these homes up and snatching them away from first time home buyers or people that can afford these homes. You guys are buying them. And so you're going to put them out there and rent them. You know it's more value in owning than renting, but you're buying up all, because we have very low inventory here, you're buying it all up so you can put, put people in your rent houses. I think that's selfish. Very selfish. And I'm only saying this because I know, and I'm kind of tying it all into the, the economic part of it and how selfish this world is becoming. Because there is no way and I'm not the only realtor that has qualified buyers. I have qualified buyers right now because the interest rates are so great. I have no homes to put them in. It's something wrong with that. Unless they're over a certain amount of money. Tell me who can drop a million right now. I mean, honestly, with the way the economy is. Maybe a few, but not, not many. These houses are, are exorbitant in prices. You got a home that's selling for maybe six seven hundred grand that's really worth five it's not we need a market correction so i'm tying all of this in because we have to start caring about our communities and hard-working citizens that have every right to purchase a home but then we got these greedy corporations and these uh investors that's buying all the properties so they can put people in and keep them renting that's not economic empowerment, not for everybody else. Maybe for the investor, but not for everybody else. So let me get off of that because I'm pretty sure nobody cares about that. Uh, but I said all of that because we need to hold our community leaders accountable for the violence that's going on in our communities. And and we have to stop electing them. Stop electing them because they may be this, the same color as you. Stop electing them because they're your color. They ain't, if they're not doing nothing for us, is as soon as a criminal um, commits a crime, they give them a bond. Sometimes they don't have to pay anything to get out on bond. So then they go commit another crime. Well, guess what? That other crime could be they killing one of your loved ones or they're raping you or they're stealing your child. That's what could happen every time they release a criminal out on bond. Now, I know some people are falsely accused of stuff. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about real criminals. Those criminals are killing people. They're doing drive-bys. They're killing families. That's what's really happening in our communities. And I'm calling all the community leaders to the mat. We need y'all to stand up too. Hold the, you know, the public officials accountable for making sure we keep our, seat, our streets safe. Because they're not safe. They're not very safe right now. And I have to decide if I'ma move. Cause I, I'm so exhausted. I'm exhausted with always having to be aware of my surroundings. I'm exhausted. I want a little piece. I can't go to the grocery store without making sure, okay, let me see what this fool doing. Cause I'm walking to the store and somebody's approaching me asking me a question. If you look crazy, I ain't gonna say nothing to you. I'm gonna play just as crazy as you. I get nonverbal, and then they be like, oh, what the hell wrong with her? You wanna find out? Step to me. You gonna find out real quick. This channel is called Restoring Ghettos Forgotten. That's coming from somewhere. Trust me, I got a little hood ghetto still in me. This educated girl now. I get with you over mine handgun or not so awareness we have to be aware of our surroundings we have to protect ourselves our family members start by uh spiritual warfare we, we have to understand that we are in, sp in a spiritual war and there's light and there's darkness and don't make sure you're not smothered out by the darkness and make sure you're not doing what the world the rest of the world is telling you is acceptable and okay because every time you allow the world to smother out a commandment after a commandment after a commandment you're just like the rest of the world you are useless you are worthless to the kingdom of god that's the bottom line i'm done i want to encourage everybody especially our youth put the cell phones down some young man did uh 
a video about internet you guys need to research it but it, it was very powerful about how the internet is a trap and i really do believe that it's it's a serious trap and it's trapping most of our youth and even some of us if if i go to a restaurant and i see a group of people back in the day you know we used to laugh chatter have fun drink joke around and all that now everybody's on their cell phone scrolling there's no social engagement everybody's on their phone either they're taking pictures posting how happy they are and they're not even engaging other people so i think it's something about this thing that we really need to rethink about how much time we spend on social media and really start really living our lives fully and realistically without taking every account of it taking a snap of every account uh, because it's 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 not good and it's not healthy and and we're losing the capacity to socially engage each other in a healthy manner nobody calls anybody anymore it's all text that's so impersonal sometimes pick up the phone and call and have a conversation with somebody when you meet with them you're in a restaurant put your phone in your purse or put your phone in your pocket and really focus in on how the other person is doing and then they do the same and that's how we socially engage each other and uplift each other and build each other up without the, the cell phone distraction so it, it kind of turned into an encouraging video but it's more awareness i want everybody that's in my area and really all over the world because violence can run rapid anywhere where there's where there's a lack of god there's going to be more uh violence out there there's a lack there's a lack in our communities there's a lack in this world. I'm appalled about some of the laws that's being passed that's totally against God's words and everybody's perfectly fine with it. So there's a lack of God in a lot of places that there shouldn't be. And we have to fight hair, tooth and nail in our homes because our children and our youth are seeing the lack of God. So we have to uphold him regardless of what's going on around us. And we're not very popular. We're not very popular people because I know what God tells me. Whether you believe in God or the Bible or what, I have a personal relationship with my creator, with God. And he speaks to me and I can't explain it, but he guides me. I have that relationship with him, it's spiritual. And I know for a fact, just by certain things that he's created, how he wants this life to be lived. And we're going up against it. And it's not going to turn out right. God will not be mocked. Read that scripture about God will not be mocked. I see it a lot. It start coming to my mind. And I say, let me go back. and Because I just said it. And I say, let me go back and research it. And when I researched it, I said, oh, that's why. So I want you guys to be encouraged. I want you to be aware. I'm not trying to make you fearful because fear is not of God. I want you to know that you have all power because God put it inside of you. So you don't have to walk around in fear, but you do need to be aware. Uh, like my grandmother used to say, watch as well as pray. So you're gonna watch and you're gonna pray about it, but you're gonna watch too. You're not gonna put no blinders on. You wanna see the truth. And you ask for the truth and clarity, God is gonna bring it to you, but you have to act upon it. You have to have discernment. And you have to have the understanding to be able to carry the discernment out. Because some people have discernment. God gives discernment to all of his people. But do we have the understanding? Some people lack the understanding. And that's why we can't really be uh, our full potential until we get the understanding. You can have wisdom. You can have knowledge. But if you lack understanding, you have nothing. So I want to encourage you to always put God first. Always know that you are a very powerful being, regardless of what the world may tell you. You're more powerful than you know. Walk in that power. Walk in that clarity. Walk in that wisdom and that understanding. Walk in that. Understand that you're a powerful being and you can create change around you. And it'll make the world a little bit better if you just create change around you and your peripheral, the people that you connect with on a daily basis. We can make the world better. I love you guys. I love God. That's why I take time out of my day and I need to get out of here. 
uh, to shoot these videos to encourage other people, but this is more of an awareness video about the violence, the recent violence that's happening in Houston, Texas and our surrounding areas. I'm pretty sure there's violence all over the world, but for me, I've been here so many years, it's, it, it really looks bad right now. So please be aware of your surroundings at all times. And I'm not telling you to be fearful, uh, but be aware, be prayerful. Always put God first. I love you guys. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.